Okay, we're going to get right back into it. Hopefully you, you started this conversation with God. You know, and I know you don't know whether He's there or not, but hopefully you're smart enough to go ahead and attempt to start this conversation. You know, you definitely need somebody you can talk to. Uh, uh, I would be trying to get a, a grasp of the spiritual principle, some kind of, some kind of spiritual foothold, because believe me, you're, you're about to need it. Um, you've got a little clean time under your belt. You've got a little sobriety under your belt now. Uh, physically, you're starting to feel a little better because you're not dumping all that poison into your body. And, you know, God have mercy on, on those that are going to start to feel a little bit better. And, man, I'm ready for another round. I, I think I can take the pain one more time. Because, you know, you can see a lot of people go out and some of them are not going to make it back. They're not going to make it back. So, so if you can stick and you can stay, you know, I, I'd really advise that because you, you might not make it back. And that's the God, the honest truth that you might not. Um, here comes the bad news, your feelings. You know, you don't have that sedative anymore. You know, you don't have that crutch. You don't have that drug alcohol barrier between you and your feelings. And let's face it, you haven't done a lot of good deeds lately, you know, or for, for a very long time. It's, uh, you've just been shoving that stuff down year after year after year, and it's all there. It hasn't gone anywhere. That candy bar you stole when you were 14, it's, it's still in there too. It's all stacked up in there. It's going to be like, a, like an old well geyser. It's just going to blow a bunch of black crap all over you. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be bad. You're going to be you're going to be facing these things without any of your us, usual help. That's why you need to start building this bridge. You know that's why you need that guy that you that you you went to that meeting and, and you talked to him. You need, you need to be able to call him up and say, man, I don't I don't feel good. I'm I'm facing all this stuff and it, it's dark and 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 you know just somebody to reach out to. And you know those those places and those people are good. But eventually they all go home and they all go to bed and you're left with yourself. And that's the scariest, loneliest place to be. When you go to your bed at night, there's nobody to talk to but you. And that's dangerous. That's where God comes in. That's where these conversations with God come in. Because, you know, you've heard that saying, uh, don't go away mad, just go away. Well, when God shuts down the committee meeting, Satan don't just go away. He goes away mad. Uh, and and i got to tell you that when you're facing your feelings... Not only are you facing your feelings, but you've got some physiological things going on. You've got some brain chemistry going on that's, that's going to bring on the depression. You know, you've got an emotional roller coaster that's about to start, and you've got the bucking broncos of your feelings that you're going to have to start riding. And this is this is the time that you're going to really be tested, man. I, I got to tell you, man, the devil is going to bring the rain. Uh, he's going to bring this. The, it's going to be a storm. You're just going to. It's going to be like being on a ship. In the, in the perfect storm. It's going to be dark. It's going to be lightning. It's going to be thunder. It's going to be raining. And, and you just really have to hang on. You know, you have to ride that buck and bronco because you will break it. I promise you, you will. Um, you're going to get some flashes of goodness. You know, uh, at first, no, there's nothing really to feel good about. You don't have any good deeds to feel about. But after you get enough time under your belt, you're going to start feeling good about that. You're going to say, wow, man, i got three months. I, you know, I haven't done anything wrong in three months. And that's going to be a little pat on the back itself. You know, and, and, it's going to be, and you're going to start getting flashes of freedom that are going to come back. And, and flashes of good feelings. And what that's going to be, you're going to, now that you're not sedated and your brain chemistry is coming back, little things are going to trigger memories of freedoms long forgotten of how you used to feel before all this started. You've forgotten that. You've forgotten what it felt like in the summer vacation, the school let out. You know, that's, it's all gone, but, but you're going to get flashes. For instance, say, say the weather's changed and you open your door to go out and a little breeze of cold air hits your face and flashes you back to a time that you felt that cold air in your face way back and when you were free. And that little, that little flash of freedom feeling hits you and you're just like, oh, oh what, what was that? felt good. That felt like that felt like I used to feel. I remember that. And, and, and you know, these little flashes of good feelings are going to start to break through the, the mire and the blackness. And they're going to come in, in moments. It's like a light bulb trying to turn on. It's just going burp, 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 burp. And, and they will come. They will come. And I, I don't really want to get ahead of myself right now. I, I want you to, I'm not going to it's, you're, is it, you got a lot of changes coming up. A lot of changes coming up, but I don't want to get ahead of it. Right now, you're in the storm, he sees. 
I mean, it's storming. You know, yeah, you're going to have flashes of goodness, but most of the time it's just going to be dark. You know, you're going to be facing a lot of things. The devil's going to be talking to you. Like I said, he's going to bring the rain, man. He's going to bring the rain. Just hang on. Have these conversations with God. Keep, keep your prayer up. Keep God with you during the day. When you wake up in the morning, you know, just say, God, I want you to be with me today. Spend time with me today. He loves you. He's your Father. He made you. He knows you. He forgives you. You know, He understands you. I mean, he, he, he puts you here. He knows what you're going to go through. He knows all the mistakes. You know, you're going to have to learn to, to forgive yourself. It's, it's, believe me, it's the devil that wants you to remind you of all the bad stuff. He wants to keep you bad. He wants to keep you down. He don't ever want you to forget anything that you might have done. He's going to rub your nose at it. He's going to say, oh, look, you did something bad. You must be bad. You're never going to be good. You know, and that's his game. You know, to make you feel condemned. You know, being convicted, that means you can pay the price and you get out of it. But condemned means you're done. You're, you're done for good. And that's what the devil wants. He wants you to feel condemned. And, and I want you to understand that, that God understands you. God forgives you, man. He, he knew everything that was going to happen. And he knows what he made. He knows how frail man is. He knows how weak man is. So, you know, believe me, you're going to be forgiven. And these things that come up that you're going to have to face and everything, we're, we're going to get in. We're going to have a whole segment on forgiveness. Whole segment on forgiveness. The main thing I want you to realize is this storm, this storm, you're going to come out on the other side. You know, so just hang on and let it rain. Let it thunder. You know, let all these bad feelings come up. And when they come up, push into them. Don't run from them like you always did. You tried that road. You tried that road of escape, but it really didn't work, did it? It put you right back here. So this time, when the pain comes, push into it. Go ahead and feel it. You know, because that's the only way you're going to break that bucking bronco is to grab a hold of it and let it buck. Let it buck. Hold on to it. Feel it. Push into your feelings and you'll find that they're not going to destroy you. You know, they're really not. And, 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 and there's going to be times very soon that the, the clouds are going to part. The sun's going to come out and you're going to start a whole new stage of 